With Mix Emergency 1.4, you now have the ability to load plugins. There are two types of plugins available effect plugins and transition plugins. Once a plugin is installed, it will appear in the effects or transitions list and can be applied to the video channels. Plugins use the same high performance graphics technologies we use in Mix Emergency and can be installed or removed as you require. In the coming months we will be releasing new plugins every week which you can download from the Inklin website. Mix Emergency already has the ability to save an effect preset per video, but now it takes the idea of presets even further with the preset window. This new window allows you to store two types of presets, effect presets and transition presets. Up to six banks of 12 presets can be stored for each preset type. Presets can then be triggered via your MIDI controller for quick and convenient recall of your favorite effect and transition settings. The following is a demonstration of the use of MIDI buttons and sliders to trigger effect presets. The new up fader mixing mode allows you to control transitions using the channel faders of your mixer. To activate the up fader mixing mode, select the up fader mixing mode button at the bottom of the transition view. The following example demonstrates how moving the up faders affects the transition. There are now three possible output layouts. Mix, left and right, and left, mix, right. These modes can be useful when using an external video mixer. Several presets are now available when exporting video from Mix Emergency 1.4. Presets can be selected for the dimensions and for the export codec. These presets simplify the process of exporting. These are only some of the changes in Mix Emergency 1.4. For a full list of changes and bug fixes, visit the Inkland website where you can download the latest updates and plugins.